Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full day wear test on the new Makeup Forever HD foundation. I got it here in two colors, one N14 and one Y08. This one's too light, but when I swatched these in store, I didn't have all the samples out but they seem to pull pretty dark, so I kind of freaked out and bought another one just in case. But I think this one will work. Now this one I have worn yesterday, kind of just probably from like 12 till nighttime. Uh, so I know kind of how it wears, and I'm glad I did that, that way I can have a better just understanding of the product uh, and let you guys know. Uh, so if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe down below if you enjoyed the channel. And let's put this foundation on. Now the old formula used to be definitely a favorite. I used to love it. I had it in my kit for a long time. Uh, and personally, I really enjoyed that foundation. I looked for it in the back. And I don't know where it went. I knew, I know I had a couple of colors left, but since then they reformulated. I don't know if that one's going to be gone and this one's taking over because I still saw the old formula at my local Sephora. And I still think they sell that one, but this is new and the packaging is very, very pretty. This is the new packaging. This is glass, which as a makeup artist, I don't love, but it's luxurious it feels nice um and then the cap kind of is matching the foundation that is the pump and then i have the other color as well i think the cap is pretty much the same color i think like the lighter ones have one cap the medium are have a different cap color uh, but i like that touch i think that's kind of cool. Now yesterday when I tried this foundation, I had nothing on my skin. I didn't even moisturize it. It was kind of like a crazy morning, but I was like, I just want to make sure the color is right for when I do a wear test. So I put a pump on my hand and just kind of went like this and it looked so good with no pore feeling or nothing, no moisturizer, nothing. I had nothing on my skin, not even SPF, which I usually do every morning, but I put that on and it looked so good. Like my skin looked exactly like my skin. Um, this foundation reminded me of the Lisa Eldridge foundation. At that finish, that's like a satin matte finish and it's not too matte, but it looks just like skin. So I will definitely show you how it looks in person, but what I've gathered just by wearing it yesterday is that the finish is a very natural and skin-like. The um, oils kind of came through at the end of the day, but in a beautiful way. So um, I wonder how it's going to work today. I will prime and I already put my moisturizer on and things like that. So I wonder if just doing less works better with this foundation than doing more, but um, let's try it on. I am curious to see how this foundation will work with a primer, just more prepped skin. Um, sometimes I think a foundation works better with less things under it. Right now I have my serum on, I have my moisturizer on, SPF, and I'm about to do a primer on half of the face. But this, it will just let me know how the foundation likes and what it meshes with. Do you just need to moisturize early in the morning and wait and have this foundation go on top of like just very clean face? Or is it okay to layer it with other things under? I am going to prime this side of my face. I'm using the Vanish Hourglass Primer. It really is just something that I really enjoy. Um, I'm taking very little in it here. I did end up purchasing the Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer and I will do a side-by-side -side comparison next week, I hope, um, just to kind of let you know the comparison. It seemed like a lot of people were interested in that. So let's take the foundation now. I kind of want to just put it with my fingers. I'm going to put it with my fingers on the side that doesn't have a primer and then with a brush on this side. So I'm going to show you the shade first. 
when I first swatched it, I felt like it was drying very, very peachy, too peachy almost. Um, so I kind of freaked out and bought a lighter shade, but this is the one in 14 and this will work. When I put it on the skin, it meshed with my skin better. I expected it to be too dark and too peachy, but I thought it worked really, really well. See, it already dried out a little bit, so it's starting to turn a bit more just peachy. Um, probably not much you can see on camera, but the shade did match me really well yesterday. It says to shake well before use. And let's see the claims on this foundation. It says it has a natural finish, which I agree, waterproof. I kind of agree. It's very long wearing, best for oily combo, normal skin, and it has a medium coverage. I actually agree with all of those. Um, I wouldn't say that this is best for super dry skin because it has that satin matte finish, but it is it lasts so much on the skin. I actually tried to wipe it off with a wet wipe, like a baby wipe, and it wouldn't come off my skin. Um, like I swatched it for you guys in store and it wouldn't come off. All right. So this is the side that has no uh, primer. I think that color works really really well um it once you blend it in it definitely becomes a little darker than when it's wet and i think i think it blends into my skin color really well i really like it with my fingers i think it's fast easy and it blends in it real well i can almost push it on my skin and then blend it i'm trying to keep it to half face here and around the pores I almost push it in and drag it now this does dry down and it becomes hard to move once it's dried down because it is so long wearing and it's almost waterproof um, it kind of sets and it doesn't move anywhere so you can't really manipulate the foundation once you set it down. Um, I think the formula from this compared to the last the last formula is a little different. I felt like that was a little creamier almost, even when it's set down. This um, this reminds me of the Lisa Eldridge one, um, just to the finish, the touch, and kind of the the way it wears. Um, it reminds me of that one a lot, but. You can kind of see this is with and without. I agree with the terms of it being medium coverage. I'm going to build it up just a little bit here. We have just a few dots. Um, but I do think that th this is a medium. I don't think it's a full. Um, but it's a medium that almost perfects your skin because of the finish. So I, I really like it. It's actually quite refreshing to get a foundation. It's not super glowy. I'm, I'm loving glow foundations, but I feel like I've been missing a more matte satin finish. It's easier to wear. It stays on the pores usually better, um, but obviously it doesn't have that glowy finish. So and right now I'm taking my Sonia G brush. I have not tried it with a brush. So I'm curious to see how it blends in. I feel like it's kind of going a longer way with a brush in a way. Kind of dries down on my hand almost like when you color you use paint color and then when there's a little left it's kind of like that you almost 
feel it there, but it's not moving. You have to really scrub it off. I hope I'm making sense. I really wish I had the old formula to compare it. Um, I don't know where it is, but that one I used to love, but haven't really used it in like a year or so. I'm trying to remember how it compares to this one. So this is with the primer and without. I honestly don't see a big difference. I actually like it this side better. Uh, it's probably because of my fingers. I'm gonna try to put a little bit more and put it with my fingers, just blend in on this side with my fingers. I think yesterday I was just so impressed because it worked so well with my fingers and went on so fast and smooth. But this does dry down so fast. So you can't really manipulate the product once you put it down. So work in sections, don't just put it everywhere because then you may get just like more splotchiness, I guess. I didn't get that. I'm just thinking that if it dries down so quickly, it may be wise to work in, layer, um, work in sections. I probably should have used a moisturizing primer instead of a more mattifying one because I actually don't really love it on this side compared to this one. Um, I think I see a little bit more texture than with no primer, um, which makes kind of sense because I have more normal to dry skin. I definitely don't have any oily skin, so that was probably a mistake. I sh should have thought about that. So this is a foundation with primer and without. So far, I like it. Uh, let me finish my makeup and I'll come back and show you guys how the foundation looks with just everything on. Finish the makeup. I put this Rare Beauty Spray just to set the foundation. This has a little bit more glow, a little bit more moisture in it. And I felt the need for that after I was done with the foundation. Um, looking at the foundation right now, the one that doesn't have a primer looks smoother and better than this one and that kind of makes sense that was definitely a mistake that I shouldn't have done um I should have put a moisturizing primer not a more just blurring mattifying primer uh, that vanish is so beautiful but it's better under glowier foundations this already has that matte finish it's a soft matte finish that I didn't need extra madness or um, just blurring because the foundation is extremely blurring this side I feel like it looks so smooth so perfected um, yeah it looks absolutely beautiful this side looks nice too but I can I can see a slight difference that this is just a little smoother and that is because I tend to be more on the dry side so this foundation is not necessarily recommended for dry skin if you look at Sephora it does mention normal normal to oily combo but it doesn't say good for dry skin and uh, so I think it's good for me to try it also because I am a little bit on the drier side but uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, it has a medium to full coverage. Right now I feel like I'm very perfected. There's still spots, like I have a spot there and here, like there's still spots that I can see. Uh, so it's not a full coverage, but it's medium, medium to full. I feel overall quite perfected. Comparing this one to the older formula, this seems to be set down faster uh, and be more matte. The other one, I felt like it was more of a natural finish, a little bit more creamier in a way on the skin, not as textured, just like it felt more, I wouldn't call it glowy, just natural. And this one definitely is almost like a velvety feel. Again, it does remind me of the Lisa Eldridge, the way it sits on the skin. This one feels that it would even have more coverage than the Lisa Eldridge, but the same finish and feel on the skin. I feel set. I did not use any powder and I will never use a powder with this one because for me, this is as matte as I can go. Um, all right, so I'm going to turn the lights down so you guys can see up close how it's looking like.
So this is how we're looking like. This side has the primer. And this side does not. I think it looks really good and it feels like it's gonna last all day long. So we will test that out for sure. So those are my initial thoughts right now. I'm really liking it. Um, yesterday, I just loved it on an initial application because it was so fast with my fingers and it gave me a very smooth skin. And I feel the same way today. I think because I had to add makeup on top of it, you know, like it feels heavier than yesterday but that's because I had to put concealer and all these other things. But um, maybe I will do a check-in throughout the day if we're lucky. Uh, if not, I'll see you guys tonight with my final check-in. Well, hello guys. Look at me doing a proper check-in. Um, I feel like it's been four or five hours so far. I was out and about, um, went to a coffee date with my niece, went to a store, and this is the foundation right now. Uh, it looks really good. It looks slightly, I wouldn't say dry, but I see it right here and right here. I have a smile line right here. Let's see if I can zoom you in. So right here where the smile line is, I obviously see it more. And right here, it looks a little heavy. Now on this side, I think it looks so good um i think it's smoother mostly here here i have no issues my nose something's happening on my nose i'm not sure what but this okay this looks still really really good so far i'm liking it uh, this is obviously natural light uh and well, we'll see how it wears the rest of the night we're having burgers tonight my brother does the best burgers i'm not exaggerating uh, so we're having that tonight i'm gonna have mine with lettuce because i've been so good at eating healthy and working out so we'll have that and we'll see how that lasts but so far i don't see a big difference between when i applied it and now so that's good <laughs> oh, still. I don't I feel like it's too dark. Look how different our skin tones are. You're like a... I'm like pink. Pink. <laughs> I like a pink I too. Um, okay, let's move back. The exact sorry, recipe. my hair is taking over. Sorry, you want to put it on top of me? <laughs> okay, you can come in. <laughs> May I? <laughs> May I please come in? Do you have in? room from my hair? <laughs> Sit back, look up. Hey. We've been practicing looking straight, <laughs> straight at the camera. And I keep and looking stuff. like this, like sideways. Yeah. And I got a haircut. He did. She get cut my hair. Again. Yeah. We literally had to close the computer because Angel. <laughs> <laughs> not I, stop looking at himself in the it's monitor. Not my fault. I'm so good looking. Yes. Um, he made us a drink. Yeah, What'd you I made, make us? Uh, it's called the cable car. Probably have it, to hold it. Mostly, we don't know because yeah, we I don't can't have. tell because the monitor is closed. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, spiced rum, lemon, and orange curacao, and a couple other like. Um, have I had this? Simple syrup. I think you've had it before. Okay, look at this cup. I she bought it. it. I thought we should up, up our game. Up our game yeah. since um, okay. Let's taste it. You haven't tasted it yet, so we'll see. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, I'll put the yes. I'll put the ingredients up above. Or a something. little strong, but in a good way. Very similar. It has cinnamon, right? Yeah. And lemon, right? Mm -hmm. You just said the ingredients. Yeah, right? cinnamon, it's lemon, late. Uh, simple syrup, orange curacao. Uh, and the spiced rum. Guys, I haven't had a drink in a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. I'm trying to be She's better. gonna give the rest to me, so. Um. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, 
I think closing the laptop helps. I think so. I just, I'm so distracted by my <laughs> by hands, me, you mean? looks. <laughs> he left us because he couldn't be serious to say goodbye. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the foundation. Let's see here. This I have worn for 10 hours now. I had a black dot. Um, and it's looking so good. Uh, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Um, I'm going to scooch my chair. Andrew ruined my setup. So the foundation wore really, really well. I feel like it looks very similar to when I first applied, if not better, because it has some of that glow coming through. It is not oily. It just has a bit more of that natural finish that I actually really enjoy in a foundation. I think it looks better throughout the day than initial application. When I first applied for me, because I'm normal to dry, I find that it, it wasn't drying. It was just a little matte. I'm not used to that because I don't really wear matte foundations, only like just a couple. Um, so it felt a little matte and dry uh, without it looking that way, it just felt that way. So now I feel like it has, you know, got into my skin. My oils have blended through in a, a beautiful way. And I actually like this finish much, much more. Um, comparing the sides, this is without primer, with primer. I kind of don't see a difference. Actually, the one with no primer wore better. Um, there's just some mascara and things. It's it's been a long day. There is a very minimal wear on the foundation, a little bit around like the mouth and my chin. Uh, I feel like here it looks great. My concealer has moved a little bit, but you know, it's been a long day. And then right here on top of the nose, I feel like it's slightly um, just moved a little bit. The forehead, I feel like looks perfect. This side of my face looks great. This side of my face looks good. Uh, I really don't have any complaints. My complaint, if you were, is that on initial application, when I put it with a brush, I didn't love it as much as with my hands. With my hands, I almost was able to work it in faster um, and very easy, very easy. But I think it looks so good um, and it still has the coverage. It's still there. Um, I should have put a corrector on today. I did not. And you can start seeing my dark circles come through. But the rest is still there, still going strong. I feel like I could do more with this foundation. I could wear it for another probably five hours. It would look similar. Um, now, comparing this to the old formula, I think the old formula didn't last quite as well on me. Um, because it was a little bit more of that natural finish throughout the day I felt like it faded more this stayed in place better however I like the finish of that one initially but this one becomes more that like that throughout the day as you wear it I'm actually going to work out after no should I Ugh, maybe I will <laughs> If I do, I will let you know in the description box below if it wore well. Uh, I'm, it's kind of an intense workout. And I'm like, do I really want to work out this late? I probably should because I won't do it in the morning because of kids. So for me, overall, this foundation gets a really big thumbs up. I think it's a foundation that I could use it in my kit a lot. Um, I have two shades here. I'm going to keep them and probably uh, slowly purchase more to do use in my kit because I do think the finish uh, over time is beautiful also if you have people that have more oily skin i think it will be beautiful um and even people with a little bit dry skin can definitely pull this off i i was able to pull this off um and i love the way it lasts on the skin again i think i said it five times it does remind me a lot of the lisa eldridge foundation uh so if you can't get your hands on that one i think this is very similar to that um the consistency of lisa eldridge i think it's a little bit more watery than this one but I think the finish and the way they last on the skin is very very similar so I turn the ring light completely off and this is how we're looking um the pores look nice 
again this side i think looks worse but then i kind of have a smile line here that i don't have here and um so that's a little bit more emphasized i saw that one throughout but faint not something that would bother me um i think the pores look great on both sides if anything i think this side looks a little smoother i wonder is if it's because i blended it with my fingers and it blended into my foundation i feel like i'm saying that right blended blended yes anyway <laughs> blended into my foundation better than with a brush but i think these are things that i noticed because i'm like this close i wonder if you guys will notice through the camera so those are my thoughts after wearing it for two days i'm really enjoying it i think i'm gonna get quite a lot of use out of this one mostly in the summer months i think this is a good foundation because it's gonna help with you know when you sweat when it's super hot and your oils come through i think this would be a good foundation for summertime so i would love to hear your thoughts down below are you picking it up did you already pick it up what do you think i know the old version was so many people favorite uh, foundation that it was kind of like oh, you're taking that away from us but um i don't think this is um bad i i think it has other positive than the other one i think it's more long lasting um i think it looks really good around the pores i even had some drier areas and it did okay um so i think overall it has a lot of positives um and i think most people are going to enjoy it but i would love to hear your thoughts give it a time give this foundation time an hour or so to sit on your skin kind of like the lisa eldridge just wait for it to mesh into your skin and then gather your thoughts so leave me your thoughts down below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video